What's up everyone, welcome back to Gaming with Geeks, and this year's Call of Duty, of course, being Call of Duty Vanguard, which I personally enjoy the multiplayer, I really like the multiplayer in this one actually, but the zombies is beyond awful. But with all that said, you know, we're getting towards the end of Season 1 of Call of Duty Vanguard. Personally, I thought Season 1 was a bit of a letdown. Uh, one of the weaker seasons in since, well, Warzone came to Call of Duty, actually. But there's also been quite a lot of issues with the game. It's been very buggy. Uh, we've got this thing that we call the Terminator glitch, where your character will catch on fire, but you don't take any damage. The new Warzone map, Caldera, is... So close to being considered unplayable. Rebirth Island, I think, still works fine. But Caldera, the main Call of Duty Warzone map, damn very close to unplayable. So what they've actually done is getting towards the end of this season, which is supposed to end at the start of February, they're actually pushing back the start of Season 2, two weeks, to Valentine's Day, February 14th. So Warzone and Vanguard have had a lot of updates over the past couple of weeks, including the mid-season patch, which looked to solve a lot of the game's performance issues. So despite the improvements and better communication from the devs when it comes to sharing what they're working on, Season 2 has officially been delayed to give them more time to work on fixes. With all the crazy news coming out recently regarding Microsoft plans to purchase Activision, which includes Call of Duty, this probably won't come as much of a shock to the community, especially given the current performance issues. The main reason Season 2 of Warzone and Vanguard being delayed is in order for the devs to continue to improve the game experience. Many players will likely be happy that the season is being delayed as another big update to the game might just cause even more issues and further frustration. Yeah, I 100% agree with that. I'm totally happy of this season being delayed two weeks. I wouldn't mind if they delayed it a month, personally. Take all the time they need to actually get this into a more playable state. And when it comes to Caldera, even making it playable, I think, would be a significant improvement from where it is at the moment. Even just in Vanguard multiplayer, there's just too many visual bug glitches. Like, on stream the other day, me and the chat were having a laugh because it said I needed 4 billion XP to get to the next level, when in reality I needed like 200 or something like that. So it's just filled with lots of bugs like that. Again, I do think the multiplayer is actually really good. It reminds me of old Call of Duties with just Modern Warfare 2019 mechanics added to it. But this delay, my opinion, a good thing. So what do you guys think of all this? Let me know in the comment section down below. Be sure to subscribe to Gaming with Geeks and check out geeksandgamers.com and I will see you all in the next video.